Hey guys, it's me, Clay Ranger 143, and today I'm going to talk about a Simon game. Not this one. I didn't beat you yet, Sam Locke. I didn't beat you yet, but I'm on the verge of beating you. I will beat you. Just you wait. I just put new batteries in it last night. It's running great. So, what will this video be about now? It's not going to be about my bop of beats. Or my bop at XT, or my bop at Shout, or my bop at running low on batteries, or my bop at Extreme 2. This video is going. It's or my bop at Tetris. It's not going to be about that either. And of course, it just turned on. This video is about. All right. This video is about. Oh, and it's not about my Bop It Extreme either, which I beat for the fifth time. Beat Bop, solo, high score. I like doing that. Anyway, this video is about the worst portable handheld carabiner game ever made by Hasbro. So far. This. This little bad boy is the 2014 Simon Carabiner. Now the user Payton McDonald made a Payton McDonald made a video about this, saying, "Do not get the 2014 Simon." Well, I got this before I even saw that video, so I didn't know what to expect. I thought it would be a great little toy to, like a little travel-sized Simon that I could take with me on some of my trips. I go on my Subaru over there. Well, I was wrong. Well, see, I got this on October 7th on my birthday, my 13th birthday, and it was good at first, but it started, the battery started to go low after two to three days of use. And there was this one time where it got so low it would play the game, the lights would shine up brightly, but it displays no sound. No sound comes out of the speaker on the bottom, but it does play the game. Oh, by the way, if I... In that video I made about the Bop It Extreme 2 running low on batteries, when I said your new username wrong, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that... I, I'm sorry that I did that, but hey, I got it right now, so I said Payton instead of patent. Sorry about that. So anyway, let me show you what this little bad boy does. It does play the game, but there's no sound coming out of the speaker because the batteries are so freaking low. It has the same batteries from October 7th. Here we go. See? It's working. It's working fine. But it displays no sound. It's it's just playing the game. No sound. All right, now for sake of time, I'm going to get it wrong. It won't even dis it won't even play the buzzer sound. Alright, I'm going to get it wrong. See? With no sound, it still shines brightly even though I hold it down. But there's no buzzer sound. How weird. This is so weird. I, 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 I don't know why this little toy is doing such a thing like that. The button cells are still in there, but it, it just plays the game, but it doesn't display the sound. How weird. Let me put my hand over the lens so you can see the light a little bit. So, 
sorry if my hand's getting in the way. Unbelievable. I don't know why this little thing is doing that. It should start up with the sound and play the game with the sound, and when you get it wrong, it should play a buzzer sound. But it's not doing any of that. So, let's see if I can fix this little bad boy and see what happens. Oh, and I am on the verge of beating Sam Locke in this Simon Swipe. I now got 54. I'm so close! But I'm on the verge of beating you. Just you wait. Anyway, so... Now I know why he made a video saying, Do not get the 2014 Mini Simon. I should have got the 2010 version. Damn it! Well, this sucks. But at least it works. So anyway... I guess that's it for this video. So, don't forget to subscribe, hang out, leave a comment, drop a like, not a dislike. This is ClayRanger143, signing out with the suckiest game ever made.